One of the many problems facing the organisers of boys' clubs these days is that of accommodation. You'll find them in Nissen huts and schoolrooms, but rarely in a disused railway station. But here, in the Wye Valley at Kern Bridge Station, the boys of the Gloucestershire Boys' Club Association have found themselves a very, very novel clubhouse. They're down here this Easter weekend, scrubbing and cleaning, getting ready for the summer activities. One of the people behind the idea is the organiser of the Gloucester Association of Boys' Clubs, Mr Jim Thomas. Mr Thomas, how did you manage to get the station? Well, we've been looking for somewhere quite adventurous in this sort of adventurous country for some time. And one day, turning around, we passed the station, saw the notices up that the line was closed, and came straight in and made our first mark anyway. Then we got on to British Railways, and with great help, uh, we finally achieved at least the keys a fortnight ago. And now we're just building up to painting and one thing or another before we really start in. What are you going to do with it now you've got it? Uh, well, first we, as you see, we're painting it. Then we're going to put in bunks for ten boys and two adults, uh, a galley, if you like, fit up a kitchen, and uh, build our tables and whatnot. And then uh, at weekends, each weekend, it will be used probably by a different group of boys from different clubs throughout the county. Uh, we've got, of course, a river close by. Uh, that's easy for our canoeing. We're pretty expert at it nowadays. There's a forest, 100 square miles of it, and there's a cave-in and climbing a little way down. So that will start us off on the sort of active pursuits. Uh, I think later on it will, of course, be used for for more formal training. But first of all, we want to work up the enthusiasm and get things underway. Who's paying for all this, Mr Thomas? Uh, Money is being collected very slowly. We are getting quite a lot of uh, very generous gifts from firms. Uh, the paint being used today has been given by, by firms. The brushes have been given, all that sort of thing. And we're, we're hoping um, that most of the things we want will be given. The work we'll do ourselves. But we, we're hoping that the materials we shall get given all right. And I think we shall. What if British Railways decide to use the station again? What will you do? Uh, I don't think they will, but I think by that time we shall have enough enthusiasm uh, to find another place probably in the same district and just move our fittings out and into the new place. I don't think there's much hesitation about what we should do then, but I, I don't think they will. Thank you, Mr Thomas. It's obvious by using a railway station that the thing's going to get off on the right lines.